Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel for a Dollar Tree haul. So I had been watching some videos on YouTube um, of some really great things that people had picked up from uh, the Dollar Tree and I had to stop by and see for myself, um, you know, what they had. I actually, whoa, there's my camera. I'm going to show you guys something. Oh, see, right back there. I finally changed my soul holder from that black cat with the pumpkin to my um, off-white thing with the seahorse. Anyway, so let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so first I have, oh, I'm just, that's just my chair. Um, I have been meaning to get into the habit of buying, not buying more water, drinking more water. Um, and I guess buying more water, but drinking more water. And I have a water cooler at work. So I found these really neat bottles. My last water bottle I just used to death and um, had to throw it out. So I got myself some new water bottles. So here's the first one. I'll show you what it looks like from, f I'm not used to this camera, okay. So it has a, it has a handle. Oh, this is going to be a bad video. Okay, it has a handle, which is convenient, and it's this pretty purple color, and it has a spout. So you can just fill it up. It's, it says 18.8 fluid ounces. So just fill this up and be able to drink all day and have it on my desk. So that was the first thing I picked up. Then I saw this one, which is similar, but it's this like baby pink, Barbie pink color, which is really cute. And it has a little handle and it has a little spout. Tip me over and pour me out. No. So yeah, I really like this one. It's very cool. And you know. So. Anyway, so I picked those up. Then I also got some like household products and, and beauty products and stuff. So I include the household products, even though people might think that that's stupid because they'll be like, why are you showing us saran wrap or, you know, tin foil or whatever. I, when I watch Dollar Tree videos or any store videos, I like to see what people buy because I want to see if it's worth making a trip to the store. So for me, it's like a commercial sneak preview of what I can expect. And that's what happened with this haul. I saw a lot of great things were popping up at Dollar Tree. And so I made the trip out there. So that's why I'm showing you this stuff anyway. So I got this Assured Ultra Rich Shave Cream, Sensitive Skin Therapy, and it's raspberry scented, or supposed to be. So this is 9.5 ounces. Like I said, if it's at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar. For those of you who don't have Dollar Trees in your vicinity, totally cannot smell what it smells like through that. Okay, so I picked that up. And then I also picked up, oh, see, I thought this was very scented, but I guess not. I got the Assured Ultra Rich Shave Cream Skin Therapy Vitamin E, Vitamin E and Aloe. So always good to have extra shaving cream. Nobody wants to go around with hairy legs unless you're a dude, in which case, ignore that. Um, then I also picked up. I know I should be using the Bath & Body Works Triple Moisture Body Cream that I bought. And I will. I will try not to forget to use it because that's what happen, happens. I buy it and then I forget to use it. But I found this cream. I know it's totally like a Brand X cream. Uh, but I've been telling you guys that my feet have been really, really disgustingly dry. The heels, like really gross dry. And I'm diabetic. And I don't know if one has anything to do with the other. I think it's just, you know, you get dry feet, summer, whatever. Um, so I found this Diabetics Foot Cream. It doesn't even have a brand. Is that the brand, Diabetics Foot Cream? At least they put the apostrophe in the right place. Um, so that gave me hope. If the company is using correct grammar, that gives me hope. So anyway, it says Diabetics Foot Cream Skin Protectant Relieves Dry Cracked Skin Soothes skin discomfort fragrance free because I actually smelled this in the store and I was like why doesn't it smell like anything and then I said oh it's fragrance free so I'm going to try this and I'm going to see if it actually works 
a lot of these products I'm going to come back to probably in an empties video, maybe in a separate video, to uh, review whether dollar items from Dollar Tree are as good as their mainstream brand uh, counterparts that you find in the regular store. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so these are fun. Okay, so everybody knows the Bath and Body Works SAS is going on right now. <laughs> and I didn't buy any, you know what? I actually did not buy it. Oh, I did buy one body spray. I did buy one body spray in Limoncello from Bath and Body Works. But then I saw this. This is by the company Forever. This is Pure Attraction, right? And it's Melon and Plum. Melon and Plum Silkening Body Mist. They had two kinds. They had this one and then they had a purple one that was supposed to be like Japanese Cherry Blossom and some something else. Hyacinth, no. Japanese Cherry Blossom and some flower. I, I forget. But the purple one smelled foul. I did not like that one. But this one, this one actually smelled pretty good. So I wanted to test it out and see if it works as a, a long-lasting body spray alternative to Bath and Body Works. You know, let's not be snobby. You know, let's let's try some Dollar Tree stuff. It could be good. You never know. So, um, and then if it doesn't work, then I'll just bring it to work and put it in the bathroom as a spritzy, you know, keep the room fresh spray. So let's see. I like it. Um... It has, it's a, it has, it smells like flowers. It's got like a melony plum scent. It kind of has a little bit of an alcohol scent when you first spray it. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to, it smells, it smells good in the air. Look, I'm watching. Okay. It smells good in the air. I hope it's good because I bought two of them. So, like I said, if it doesn't work, why can I not figure out how this camera works? Okay, so if it doesn't work as a body spray, I will use it as a freshening mist for the bathroom at work. That's the graveyard of all the products that I don't use. Soaps I don't really like too much. Moisturizer I never get to, room spray I don't use. It all ends up at the bathroom at work, much to the pleasure of my coworkers because they're like, oh, our bathroom smells good and we don't have to spend money because I bring in all my, why am I? There we go. I, I, I just can't, I can't win today. All right, so that's that. It's nice. Well, see, here's the thing, though. I sprayed it on this arm first. And I don't smell it at all now. I sprayed it on this arm second. I still smell it. So I don't know how much of it you have to use. I don't know if it's mostly water or what. I do like it. I like it in the air. I don't know if I like it on me, though. This is made in the USA by Jean-Philippe Fragrances, some, a company based in New York, distributed in New York. Uh, yeah. It says with vitamin C and E. Okay. All right, so moving on to the next bag. I'm going to save the best item for last, the one that I actually went to the store to get. So I got myself a, a loofah. I got the long stick loofah because I know TMI, but my back has been itchy lately and I'm thinking it's because I cannot reach the hard to reach areas and maybe they're not getting the scrubbing that they should. So I got, I usually used to have a stick loofah, you know, for your back. Um, all the time but then you know they, the last one got gross and I threw it out and just never got another one so I got now the back stick loofah so I got it in yellow then I also 
sends back and body work who refuses to put their loofahs on sale, okay, and they're three dollars, and then with the ten off of forty, they'll probably come down to two dollars. But why pay two dollars when you can pay a dollar? So I got, especially since I didn't know you were supposed to change them every month. I thought you were just supposed to change them when they get gross, but okay. Um, so I got a yellow loofah to match the back loofah, and then I got the I got a pink loofah. It says bath sponge. April bath and showers bath sponge. So I got this. They don't really have any smell. Not that they're supposed to. So then, okay. I needed a new toothbrush. So I picked up one there. This is the Reach toothbrush. Uh, that's a brand name, right? Or is this like a, a bootleg of a brand name? I don't know. So Reach toothbrush. It's red. It's got bristles. And this is medium, medium bristles. Then I picked up, I want to save some of the, like the best stuff for last. So then I would never ever think of getting, what did I, I know I bought toothpaste. I know I did. I just, what did I do with it? Seriously, where did my toothpaste go? I, I lost my toothpaste. I bought toothpaste. Anyway, so I would never think of buying makeup at the dollar store, but I've heard good things about this brand that they carry. They carry Wet n Wild, which you can find in other stores, but I heard really good things about this brand, LA Colors. So I had this one palette by Revlon that I always wear. It's in shades of purple. I forget what it's called. I'll tell you guys another time. I think I've mentioned it before. But purple doesn't go with every outfit. Like if you watch my tropical video that I did recently, my tropical vlog, I was wearing orange and clearly purple doesn't really go with orange. I should have had a more smoky eye color. So I picked up the LA Colors eyeshadow palette and I heard that if you use a good primer, which I do have a good eyelid primer, and then you put this on, it's good. It says crease proof color for all day wear and it's number BEP 432 hot 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 like hot couture hot h-a-u-t-e that's that then I also got like I said I would never ever buy Dollar Tree makeup but I've heard good things so I got a lip gloss um, this is BLG 67 paradise pink so I want to see how that is it says Moisturizes lips with vitamin E. I wonder if this LA Colors is actually made in LA or based in LA. It says made in China. Uh, and distributed in Ontario, Canada. Ah, nice. So, I don't know where they got the LA Colors from. Maybe LA stands for something else. Maybe, I don't know. So. Then, oh, you know what I'm thinking? I gotta look at the receipt. But maybe the toothpaste fell out of the wagon through one of those slits. Yeah, because I totally don't have the toothpaste. Okay, I'm obsessing. So then I was looking in the, in the beauty aisle, right? So I saw this shampoo and I thought it was cute. It's two in one shampoo, it's for kids. Right, two in one shampoo. They had a bunch of different cute ones. They had not by. Is this by Swab? It looks like it's by Swab, but it totally isn't. This is just like Brand X, made to look like Swab. Um, so they had Ninja Turtle one, but it was I think it was like a watermelon scent, and it was so disgusting. And then they had Frozen. Uh, one for uh, the Disney movie Frozen they had that one but it it did not smell good at all and then they had this one so this is green apple which I'm not a fan of green apple usually because I don't like beautiful day or any of that stuff and it totally smells like green apple 
but I really want to try because it's two in one shampoo and conditioner and I don't like doing shampoo and conditioner in separate like doing the shampoo and then rinse it out and then have to do conditioner and then I get lazy and I don't want to do that so I, I like the two in one so if you ever watch Mitch, Mitch, and Hedberg, Mitch Hedberg the comedian he has this great joke that says two in one is a bullshit term because two is one is not big enough to hold two if it was two in one it'd be overflowing okay anyway so R.I.P. Uh, Mitch Hedberg. He was such a great comedian. He dry, died of a drug overdose. Really sad. Anyway, so the thing that I went to the store to get. All right, now. My hair, you can't tell because it's... Okay. It's still wet from the shower. My hair is naturally wavy. Which means the longer it gets, because I've been trying to grow it out, the more tangled it gets. So I've been using, and I don't know why it's permanently dented. I guess I squeezed too hard. Um, okay, there. I use the Suave Kids brand. This is not from Dollar Tree. This is actually, this in Rite Aid or CVS or wherever is $4.29. Okay, so I usually get this. The bottle is dented. I don't know why it's dented. Okay, I usually get the Suave Kids Detangler. And in they, it only comes in the scent uh, green, well, apple. It only comes in the scent apple. And, I, and I've been using this for a long time because it works great. And I can't seem to find a detangler for adults. And so I just use the Swap Kids detangler. They used to have, when I was a little girl, um, Johnson & Johnson No More Tears used to make a detangler. But that would also be for kids. So whatever. I've been using this for forever. And I'm so sick of the apple scent and whatever. So I was, you know, when I found out that there was an alternative to this, I was very excited. So, are you ready? I got the, <laughs> the Barbie detangler in the scent Cotton Candy. It's just so cute. And it's got like polka dots all over it. I have no idea if this is going to work well or not. But for a dollar... Okay, so I, I just had to try it. Uh, thumbnail. Okay. So, it says smooths and untangles hair. And uh, it says brushing your hair is a breeze with your favorite fashionista Barbie. Um, after bathing, spray detangler onto hair and brush through until smooth. Do not rinse says for external use only ages three and up so I think I qualified so but anyway so I sprayed this in the store I don't know which okay it smells like cotton candy it smells so good I'm so happy to have something that's an alternative to the green apple and I wonder if the guest is gonna notice my my friend that comes over sometimes if you've been watching my vlogs I wonder if he's going to notice that my hair smells like cotton candy. This smells so good. I have to spray it again. Oh, it smells amazing. So I'm hoping that it works well. I mean, it's, it's, I guess it's, they use, they're using the Barbie trademark. So I can't, it's not like brand X. So yeah, I'm going to take a break from the Swab Kids and move on to the Barbie. And I fell in love with this. I really hope it works well because I bought two, three, four of them. I, bought, <laughs> I have like a year's supply. I bought four of them, which at a dollar a piece is still cheaper than the $4.29 for the Suave brand. And Suave always says that they're, you know, um, reasonably priced or whatever. And Usually they are, but like why why is the detangler for kids four twenty nine? Why suave? So but anyway, if you guys are not into the Barbie stuff, if you don't trust the Dollar Tree stuff, which like I said, people, you know, don't be trusting things for a dollar all the time, and you have wavy curly hair, I recommend the Suave Kids um Apple Detangler. So anyway that is it. That is all of the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. 
I'm gonna try this pure attraction thing again. It'd be smelling like cotton candy and cheap spray. It smells so good as an air freshener though. But it totally, it doesn't really, it kind of stays on your body, but it's really light. I think you'd have to like bathe in this to really be able to smell it. If you guys have picked up any of this stuff, let me know what you think. And like I said, I'll do reviews and stuff uh, upcoming. So remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.